I'm trying to touch the states this time. 2021. Yeah, show them I can still rap though. On the bench, on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bands. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Yeah, I go again. Outside says chirp, not a camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. My city gritty, you could get hit any day now. Nah. On oh, my mama, I'ma move, I finally wait out. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I been winning, I'm like why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you, boo. I style me. I roll G's and they grind me. Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same. Who am I to blame? Money made me change. Cardi in my ring when I'm switching lanes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Money in the carry on them boy planes. Now I got a buck for all those rainy days. Ain't have a day off in like 80 days. I got hustles in like 80 ways. Kids if he won't take a lazy day. Wife even me told me take a break. I keep going to the paper street. Then it's trips up to Montego Bay. If I take the job, bet I get it done. I said it before, I'm a one of one. I just caught some ones, only wearing ones. Fornicate the funds, money made me calm. Diamonds on your neck, bet they on your neck. You want that watch, you better rock and tech. You want that chain, you better cop a vest. You want the check, but can you make it stretch? Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how I edited, edited this really cool NFL kind of hype trailer video. Now, a couple disclaimers, I actually do not um, own this footage, and I'm not going to put any links down in the description below. I'm going to go ahead and do my best to remember the names of all of these effects, so you can go ahead and just search them up. Um, on my channel and just in case you're wondering no I do not actually own this footage this is just footage I got or footage I just found from the NFL's um, YouTube channel so if you, I definitely encourage you to do kind of find different footage like that to kind of practice the whole uh, the whole purpose of this um, video is just to hopefully get some inspiration and hopefully you know, show you a couple different effects that you may have never um, seen of seen before. Okay, so let's start off here. So I'll go ahead and show you the first part right here, which is basically just a countdown right here. And then I just have a timer effect from Epidemic Sound right here. And this timer is from um, a video called like the Vintage Film Effect. It's just like a generic um, countdown time right there. Nothing special right there. Now what I did next was I had this really cool kind of black bars opening effect. As you can see right here, after the countdown is done, the screen turns to black. So we'll go a couple frames right here, and then all of a sudden, the screen starts to open right here, and it starts to reveal um, the video right there. Basically what I did was I just keyframed the crop right here. So as you can see the top and the bottom right here, I literally just keyframed um, the crop right here. It's definitely a really cool effect and a really cool way of opening up your video right here. And then right here I just have a TV overlay right here. And then underneath it I just have a clip right here. And then I just repositioned the clip um, right there to just get it in the position that I like. And that's how I created that effect. And then of course I had to put it into a compound clip in order to keyframe the crop, uh, the crop effect right there. And over here, it's just another video right here. Nothing special with this. But what I just did was I had this text um, right here. Called the, and this effect is called the text appear. So I had the text show up. Next frame, next frame. You just kind of go frame by frame right here. And then wait like 10 frames. And then the text starts to disappear right there. And that's pretty simple. It's just literally just lining up text. And you can kind of mess with it until you get the look that you want right here. Now I have this really cool um, sequence too, which is like the zoom um, sequence effect right here. Basically, each one of these lasts for three frames right here. Sweet these last for three frames. And what I basically just did was at the beginning right here, I went back for th uh, three frames, keyframed the scale right here to 125, and then basically just keyframed it to 225. So I go to the end right here. And you can see the scale is key from a 225. Same thing with this. 
I just basically scaled it up right here from 125 to 225 literally just by keyframing the scale right here then I added some motion blur as you can see just to help make a lot cooler look look a lot cooler without the motion blur it wouldn't really kind of look like it's zooming in so it kind of creates that look right there now if this clip right here if you want to create one of these like layers right here we need to put stuff on top all you gotta do is click on the clip right here and then just lift from storyline having a storyline right here is definitely really helpful so let's go ahead play right here nothing happens right here or it zooms in a little bit too right here so the first three frames zoom in and then nothing happens right there but as we head over to this marker right here as you can see I'll go ahead and press on the clip right here I keyframe the crop um, top and bottom so you can see right there there you go the, the top and bottom crop is being keyframed it's called the closing frame effect right there to reveal the next clip um, right there now this right here is called the repeating frame effect right here it's a compound clip with a motion blur open it up and then as you can see right here each of them these are just scaled down so 60% 80% 100% and then 125 and then all I did was I just keyframe the scale so I started at 205 and then I just keyframe the scale down right here and voila you create this really cool repeating frame effect right here now we have this really cool um, I believe it's called, uh, called the collage reveal effect right there so let's kind of go frame by frame as you can see right here it's basically just using a draw mask right here so you can see there's a draw mask um, on the clip right here and then all you're doing is you're just keyframing the position so the position starts um, at Nate at uh, 1100 right here and with a draw mask right here you're just keyframing it right here and the same thing with this it's just the same thing over and over again you're just cutting out um, parts of the video you basically just take the draw mask and you move it over and then you move it over make sure you have three copies though and you're just keyframing the position adding some motion blur and voila as you can see right here here's this really cool Kodak slide effect right here so I'll go ahead and just kind of put it to fit right there go ahead and play it right here as you can see this really cool Kodak film transition right here I think the effect is called the film mat effect I believe as you can see right here it just transitions and there you go you transition to the next clip and then you have a really cool film um, overlay right here and then you just have this clip right here which has a film roll overlay right here and then just this really cool transition right here this really cool film slide transition into the next clip right here um, and this transition is called the film strip slide down right here and then you basically right here just have a flip effect right there where the backgrounds flip but this is based but this is not and then right here you have another transition right here and this transition is called um, the fade to black right here so you just have this really really cool um, fade to black transition right here now when I go to this next effect which is called the color shift effect right here so let's kind of go frame by frame um, right here so as you can see there we go it's basically just this really cool um, flicker effect right here so all I did was right here I changed the blending mode to pin light adjusted the color board to adjust the color and then I just adjusted the scale and then just went just every other frame right there definitely creates a really cool flicker effect right here next thing I have this really cool kind of vintage film effect right here um, so I'll go ahead as you can see right here nothing's changed right there this one right here the blending mode is, is changed to screen and this one the blending mode is changed to multiply and what I did was I actually use this kind of flash to kind of transition in between the next clip as you can see right here here's a cut between the two clips it's the same clip but I just cut out the middle and I use this really cool camera flash as a transition right here because I thought that looked um, pretty cool right there the next thing I have right here is this really cool frame effect and tile amount all I did was I keyframe the amount of the tile right there and then voila you just have it zooming out right there okay so let's head over to the next clip right here and basically this is this really cool kind of fake 360 um, camera effect right here I'll just kind of go through it one by one so here's the position here's the scale here's the sh a shape mask right here here's the position here's the scale right here here's the position here's the scale and there's also a shape mask right here to kind of blend it in and then on this adjustment layer 
um, right here you had the polar effect and the fisheye effect right here nothing really special right here it's just a free eight millimeter film effect same thing with this it's just a film border vertical effect what i have right here is a screen pump effect so i'll go here keyframe this guy right here one two and then one two and there you go just keyframe it on the beat right here and then nothing special with this clip right here but let's head over here with this really cool um x-ray transition right here so on the adjustment layer right here the x-ray effect and the color board i'll open up the color board just so you can see it right here use exposure saturation and color right there and basically it did did we're just going to go one frame at a time so here here and there you go and it creates this really cool x-ray um flicker effect right here i have this really cool 2d animation impact effect to kind of show to showcase the impact i thought that was pretty cool right there so let's head over here i have an object wipe right here so as you can see the ref just kind of wipes across the screen right there uh, i believe it's called the object wipe right here change the scale change the y and then i just use this as a drop zone i cut out this picture myself but it also has a whole bunch of presets right there so let's go ahead and play this right here this is called the glowing freeze frame right there so as you can see right here one two three one two three and then one two three four um right there so ten frames seven frames and then four frames and then just in it right here you have a draw mask um right here and then underneath it you have this really cool glow outline effect and that looks pretty cool and that just transitions into the next clip right here it's just a basic um freeze frame transition right there so let's head over here to this clip right here and basically as you can see right here uh, this one i'm just going to go frame by frame right here so let's go one two all you can see is he's just sliding up right here by keyframing the position right here and then you're keyframing the position right there to kind of have him go into himself right there and then hold it for about five frames so this one holds for 10 frames this one holds for 10 frames and then this one holds for um, five, five frames right there it was like a sliding freeze frame effect um right there the next effect right here is just um, a pop and freeze frame right there so let's go ahead and click on the clip right here and all you're basically just doing is you can see the scale right here so you're just kind of just keyframing the scale right there and then voila you're into the next clip and you just have a motion blur on top just to help make it look a lot nicer right here and then right here you have this really cool kind of eye zoom um, transition right there and I just zoom into the next clip um, this holds for 10 frames and it has some motion blur on just to help make it a little more realistic I basically achieved this look Oh, not the distort tool using the crop tool right here and then I just use the Ken's burn effect right there to kind of have it zoom into his eye right here and then into the next clip right here over here is the panning freeze frame right there so as you can see there is the panning freeze frame right there then it goes back in right here i'll open it up and basically this just is like a pyramid so like it's 10 8 6 4 2 and there we go simple as that not too, it's not too difficult right here and then on top right here i just have a clip where the, the top one is yelled down the bottom one is normal and i just desaturated the bottom right here and then i have this really cool kind of lens flare transition in the next clip i found this transition is really helpful if you have any like awkward jump cuts sometimes two clips don't go well together so you need some sort of transition to kind of blend them together so next one is right here so you go one two three four five six seven eight and then one two one two this one is just called the multiple frames effect definitely a really cool effect right here and then right here you just have this clip which is like the normal clip right here inside the compound clip you have the kodak one right here like here fill holes make sure you sample color and then as you can see right here this clip is just positioned underneath the kodak filter i thought that was a pretty kind of cool unique effect right here and then right here i just had this really cool camera flash effect with the highlights right here intensity so one two three then one two three I have this really cool kind of camera shutter sound effect and this is just a normal clip right here with some film burn right here and then here's the picture right here so inside this compound clip right here you can see um, all of this kind of paper this paper overlay right here and and basically what I did right here is I just took a draw mask right here 
and I basically just cut off the edges right here and then right here I just have these two paper things right here which I just use the crop tool right here and then I picked on the clip right here or selected the clip right here and then I just cut out the person inside the thing that way I make sure the entire person stays inside the paper outline right here and this one is just like a split screen right here so you have the top clip right here and then the bottom clip right here which is over here and then all I did was just add like a um, eight millimeter film effect I thought it was a lot cooler than just kind of just splitting the screen that was just my take on it as you can see right here here is the lens flare effect right there and then it just transitions into the next clip right here which is just Travis Kelsey with an eight millimeter film effect right there and then I have another lens flare to transition basically up to black right there you could fade to black but I just decided to use a lens flare right there and there we go that's basically it that's how I basically edit this entire really cool NFL hype trailer Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you got some inspiration to kind of make um, your own video right here. Those are just a couple of effects that I like. I have even more effects. So you can definitely go ahead and check out my channel if you want to see more effects. These are just some of my favorite effects. I kind of want to put them together to kind of a compilation right there. And kind of, you know, make it look pretty cool. So again, hopefully you got some sort of inspiration. Um, and that's basically it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.